Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to learn how to set up a Zabbix proxy after we have installed a Zabbix server. So as you can see on my screen, a Zabbix web server is running on this particular IP and I've got a blank server with me which ends with .11 and I need to install Zabbix proxy on this. So there could be multiple reasons why I would want to have a Zabbix proxy set up. Uh, maybe the devices which I want to monitor are in a different location. Maybe the client which I'm monitoring wants to have a separate proxy for the environment. Maybe the load on your Zabbix app server is more and I want to split out my load and use a proxy for monitoring my new devices. So after seeing all those reasons, uh, I want to set up a proxy and let's begin how we can do that. So first we will go to zabbix.com slash download and I will choose my Zabbix server version. And if you want to learn how to install a Zabbix server, you can watch this video on my channel. I will also share that link on the i button. And I will choose my OS distribution. I'm using a Red Hat 9 server here. So I will use Red Hat 9 and I will choose the Zabbix component as proxy. And I will use MySQL database over here. So let's run these commands in order to install the Zabbix proxy. I'm just going to add hyphen Y in the end so that all the packages get installed without my confirmation. In the next step, it says, make sure you have database server up and running. So these packages don't have the database server installed. So we'll have to just install the MySQL server package and run it before running these commands in step C. So I'm going to install the MySQL server package. I'll share all the steps uh, in the description of the video so that you can just copy it on your setup. Okay, after installing the MySQL database, uh, we need to run MySQL underscore secure underscore installation. But before we do that, uh, we need to start the database service. And we will enable it as well so that when the server reboots, the database comes back up by itself. And let's set up our database now. I'll press no here. I'll give password for my database, the root password for my database. And I'll type the password again. I can select yes for all these commands accordingly as per my choice. And now I will log into my database using mysql hyphen u hyphen root and hyphen p for password prompt. I will enter the password which I used and I will run these commands. So basically we are creating a Zapix proxy database and we are creating a Zabbix user identified with the password as password itself. You can use your own password, but make sure wherever you see this red password, you need to enter the password what you have chosen. And we'll quit from here. Now this command actually uploads the 
database on for the proxy for the database what we created so the password will be password as we just created here once the database gets uploaded let's log into this again as it says and let's run this command and we can quit now we need to edit the Zabbix proxy configuration this is extremely important and we will in the server field we need to enter the IP of our Zabbix server so we'll copy this IP so this if you are using different uh, Zabbix application web application your IP would be different so make sure you're entering the Zabbix server IP not the web IP and we'll call this proxy as Zabbix proxy 01 everything should be case sensitive here and we just have to update the password as well so we have got here DB name and we have got the DB user and we will update the DB password here it is so the DB password which I defined was password I'm going to press colon and write and quit and save this configuration and I will restart my Zabbix proxy service after I've restarted it I'm just going to enable it as well and I will parallelly look at the logs while I'm on the user interface of my Zabbix I'll clear my screen here and I'll do var log Zabbix Zabbix proxy dot log so as you can see uh, it's trying to send data somewhere this proxy but it's not going anywhere let's go to administration and go on proxies let's create a proxy and we will go we are going to call it Zabbix proxy 01 this should be case sensitive as Z and P are in uppercase and we'll click add here so as you can see it's currently showing as not discovered this Zabbix server has not seen this so we'll wait for a few minutes we can parallelly check the logs as well so if you are slightly impatient you may wanna just restart the proxy service again and check the logs again and as you can see we don't have any error in the logs and we'll go to our user interface and just refresh this and as you can see it's showing as last seen two seconds ago so now uh, you can monitor devices on your Zabbix environment using that particular proxy what we just created and when you create a host when we create a host here we can use that particular proxy such as this so in the Zabbix agent configuration we need to use the Zabbix proxy IP not the Zabbix server IP so you can also see how to install Zabbix agent on Linux and Windows machines and monitor your devices through the Zabbix agent you can see those videos as well on my channel I'll be sharing those links as well on this video's description so I hope this has been informative I would like to thank you for viewing mm -hmm.